Hey, good day. <laughs> You're back with Colonel K here. We're uh, reassembling the transmission and all the goodies onto the half track here. I should have started this earlier. I apologize. Um, <clears throat> I installed my ring gear after I had it turned down and polished. Also had my pressure plate face redone too. Put that back together. Basically to do that you just pull these four springs and your pressure plate face drops right off. Um, installed a new throw out bearing. Uh, right now I'm using a pilot to line up my um, disc my clutch disc in there so when I put my transmission in that's all lined up um, some other things for the book you're going to want to make sure that your adjusting disc is turned so that it's about half an inch a little bit less than half an inch from the facing um, that's the, in and out from the facing so you know you, you don't have to keep coming down here and readjusting it because you put a new clutch in uh, some other things I chased I chased all my holes with a 3 8 coarse uh, tap just to clean my holes out on here. These ones are in pretty good shape, but I've had a couple of the bolts that were really tough getting out of there. And I uh, put all new uh, grade bolts in here and uh, torqued it to 35 pounds. I wouldn't go more than that. Um, I saw, <laughs> there's a couple of uh, interesting uh, forum notes that talk about how much should you torque these things. There's no value in the book that I was able to find in both the engine or the transmission, the drivetrain. But considering the size of the bolts, 35 pounds is, is, is more than sufficient. I will do the same thing for the bolts to try when I put my transmission back into place. So now my goal to pull this, I no longer need it. Thank you, Paul. My friend Paul from uh, Pennsylvania sent this to me. It works great for making sure that everything's lined up in there when you put your transmission spline and stuff in. Um, so that's kind of a need and necessity and, and uh, if you're out there on one of these forums like uh, Half Track Info which is an excellent forum, the G503, there's, there's folks that have these tools and they're more than willing. If, I think you should pay postage, that's just my belief and I'm definitely going to reimburse Paul for his postage uh, and, they'll, and they'll provide them to you. Let's see what else we have here. Your flywheel is going to have, I believe it has 10 crown nuts would have cotter pins so you can see I my cotter pin selection here I went ahead and replaced all those uh, yeah don't reuse your cotter pins please these things are cheap cost wise so basically what I'm doing I'm ready to do next is jack my uh, transmission up and see if I can slide that pilot shaft back in there and get this thing uh, at least get the tranny in uh, I have a couple of uh, Zoom meetings today. I have the Air Force folks coming Thursday, so they're coming to see the track. It won't be completed by then, it doesn't matter. It'll be completed by the weekend, but they just wanted to see how it looks. They went, wanted to check out my turret with the guns mounted and uh, my ammo cans and rounds into place. So, uh, yeah, I'm very excited to get this transmission finished. and. All right, Houston, we had a problem. <laughs> the uh, here's what I rigged up to lift my tranny up. When I had to move the tranny, it slid forward on the jack, and I couldn't get it back up onto the uh, the jack platform. So I went ahead and used my L engine hoist here and move things around. So what my intention is, I've got it pretty much gonna hold it back a little bit. That big hump there needs to go on the platform. I had bracing in the back and I had it chained up so it just slid forward enough that it actually this portion slid down so no way I could jack it up so here I am just gonna go ahead and get that thing put on there make sure I've got it kind of chained down I have plenty of chains so I'll put another chain on there but this will at least get me to where I need to be is as far as the platform goes so stand by all right 
Change of plans here. I'm not using my transmission jack. I've got to make a decent cradle. This thing works. You know, it's got all these adjustments. It's fine, but the platform just plain sucks. So I, uh, so I got my floor pans pulled. I went ahead and chained up my transmission to my floor jack, and now I'm going to go ahead and get this thing in. There's a couple things you got to make sure you make sure you ah, get in here. Make sure you block your two blocks in here on your throwout bearing and you have to make sure that the tines the, the, the operating forks for the throwout bearing which are here are here are up not down because they need to slip behind the bearing when you put the uh, tranny in anyway I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can force that into position push it into position as I was and uh, We'll go from there. All right, I pretty much got that into place. And I'm landing up, uh, actually just pushing it in with my legs. I got some big old legs yet. Lots of years as a runner. All right, well, we're just a small gap here I'm not I think it's pretty well closed up it may just be a matter of putting some screws in and getting it started and it pushes its way back in so I'm gonna give that a shot see if I can just pull it in with the bolts all right transmissions in next piece is our PTO takeoff here I'm gonna go ahead and get that installed I gotta grab some washers. So that goes right here. And get you up there. There we go. And I wanna move my lamp so I got a little bit better light. You have a little bit better light too. Get that nut started on there. All right, PTO's in. Some other things I did down here before I put things back together is all your grease points on a track were supposed to be marked in yellow and oil points marked in red. So I've basically done that by uh, cleaning all my stuff up and any of my points down here. Now I've been touched up and, and they're all marked in yellow or red for drains oil transmission fluid let's see what else we got here our differentials front and rear so what's next i'm going to go ahead and put my drive shaft in you know I'll, wait i'll wait on that i'll get my drive shaft after i get my uh transfer case in i've got to make a new gasket for the transfer case here all right <laughs> finally in you know, this is definitely goes a lot easier if you got two bodies down here helping you or two of you working together. Uh, that being said, <laughs> um, I used my uh, transmission jack and my floor jack in unison. So I actually uh, wrapped a chain around the transfer case on the bottom here underneath and then lifted it up with the uh, floor jack and then put my transmission jack under there. The thing nice about the transmission jack is you can go left, right, back and forward on a tilt. So once you get it up into place just to line everything up, worked out pretty well. When you do your inner bolts, there's two of them, don't forget to do your wire tie. Um, I have my pan to put on next. But uh, everything is all the bolts are all hooked up and tightened up. Work down. I did, uh, I think I did 50 pounds torque, maybe 
I don't know if that's too much, but I don't think it is, considering the size of our bolts. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the brake, brake mechanism, but <laughs> I can talk, brake mechanism in place, and then I'm going to go ahead and get my drive shaft up and in. And, uh, then I'll hook up my drive shaft for the front wheel drive, and then the drive shaft for the winch slash PTO. And I need to add fluids, and then I got to finish the top. But, uh, before I do anything more on the top, I'm going to go ahead and pull that cluster up there so I can replace the oil sending unit. Because it's nice and flat, I can lay down and work on my back without all the gear shifts and everything sticking up and, and through. Uh, so other than that, we're making, we're making pretty good strides. Um, I'll probably put on the brake parts today. I've got a couple of errands where I just have to do it. I've definitely got to get cleaned up. And then I'll finish up the uh, drive shaft and work on that instrument cluster. Get that done tomorrow. So all I'll have left to do is install my shifts. I definitely got to button this up first. Install my shifters here. My high low transfer case and then front wheel drive and put them back up there. And uh, that's pretty much it for right now. So. Uh, we're making good good time and, and we're moving ahead pretty good but I say this is this is definitely a two-man job unless you got a nice lift and all that hua stuff which I don't know too many people like I got kind of garage maybe they do that kind of shop God love you I don't have that kind of shop so I'm pretty much stuck with good old-fashioned but you can do it by yourself there you go that's that's the bottom line. Yeah, you can do this by yourself. It's just uh, you gotta make some. You gotta find some workarounds and some some modifications to make it work for you. One thing I didn't have to pull my whole exhaust system out. A lot of people say when you do this, you gotta yank your exhaust system out. They probably drop the tranny with the transfer case on. I gotta tell you, I don't. You have to have a pretty damn good uh, transmission jack really well built transmission jack to drop all that weight it's considerable and as I stated before there's no way you could have dropped this and brought it back with the PTO on there so all's well that ends well sunshine absolutely nice to see after three days of rain and anyway here's where we're at emergency brakes stalled Bottom cover installed. Eight quarts of fluid installed. I have no leaks. It's been sitting here for probably an hour. Right now I'm working on my uh, drive shaft. All the nuts and bolts are in here. I gotta tighten them up and then I gotta install my uh, cotter keys. All I got left to do to finish this up is to install this bad boy here on the differential. I'll get my brake shoes in here. This is all nice and loosened up. There was a... This was not working very well before. It was all messed up. I pulled the pins and cleaned everything out. So, I'll get my shoes in. Let's see what else will I do down here. Put the front drive shaft up. I did put my drive shaft in for my winch, as you'll see. The winch seal before was dripping, oh my gosh, it was dripping a lot. I always had a river of uh, lube, so I think I've got that licked. I'm uh, pretty much down to that. I will install my brake lever or my shift lever or my two high-low and front-wheel drive levers in until I'm... Um, until I've got that... Uh, oil sender changed I'll be gone all day Wednesday so maybe I'll take a crack at doing that tomorrow once I install the brake shoes here get up and get that installed and I can finish up down here I do have my cross brace to put in but I've got to run a uh, cable a, a, a power cable copper cable from the battery back to the uh, turret so 
I'm going to leave that off for right now and maybe probably disconnect the folders on it so I can straighten out my conduit and get that bad boy pushed through. So anyway, we've had a good day. Alright, so here we are. Let me get some lights here. Drive shaft installed. Front drive shaft installed. Brakes installed. Let's see what else we did. Touched up some of the other things that needed to be touched up on the tops and the bottoms. I still have to mark the drive shaft. Pulled my conduit out so I can run my power cable. There's no way I could snake it through there, so I had to pull the whole thing out and pull it off its uh, all of its mounts here. I've got it pulled out, and I've got the power cable installed. That hooks up the battery on one end, and it hooks up to the uh, slip ring on the other end, and then into the turret. So, I'm going to take a Dremel tool tomorrow and I want to open up a couple of uh, the holes that the stuff goes through. It's just a little tight and I'm going to just open those holes up so it's a little easier to pull this through there. There's a bit of a bear cat tonight. So, uh, that'll help me quite a bit. Other than that, I'm calling it a day. Tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, I'm going to be visiting the in-laws. So, going up to Amish country and have a fine meal. And look at a new place that they're moving into. So I'll be back with the uh, pretty much everything is done with the install. So other than the levers up above, basically the transmission, all the drive gear, and everything's reinstalled again. Uh, I won't go over how to install the the two levers for the high low or the uh, shift lever or the brake in the uh, that's pretty much self-explanatory so I will consider this complete as far as reinstalling the uh, transmission all the accruement crudite as they would say and the uh, all the goodies are reinstalled again so I hope you've enjoyed I enjoy bringing these things to you um, have a good one. Bye-bye.